Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Resales. This is Ryan. And I get stuff from thrift stores, yard sales, flea markets, and Facebook. And flipping online. And that's what we're going to talk about this morning. Uh, I got a big box of stuff. Vintage Transformers. Vintage Star Wars. I think there's some G.I. Joe stuff in there. I got it at a good price. And we're going to flip it online. I think we're going to make money. And that's what we're going to do. First, we're going to go over what's sold. A shirt. This is actually like a Juicy Couture t-shirt. Sold. Oh, I got to look up. Uh, no, uh, eight, nine bucks, seven bucks. I think it was seven bucks. Again, one of those brands I was like woefully behind the times, and yep, seven fifty. Uh, and this is cool. This is cool. I got this in a uh, yard sale. A big batch of these at a yard sale. I think over the summer, maybe early summer, late late spring. Boom. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Dragon stars Ultra Instinct Goku. Yeah. Uh, cool little fig. Really cool. 15 bucks. I thought it was going to go for more. I think I started this guy like 30. Uh, and that's where the, some of the comps were. Uh, but, alas, he did not sell that. He only sold for 15. Which actually, only for 15, which is a good... That's a good price for an action figure, so. Uh, anyway, that's what that is. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for for two minutes. Let's open this box. With my Ontario knife. <laughs> this guy had to freaking sign this box a little bit. So, and I am. A little stoked to see what we got. What's in the box? Ah. Well, he packed it all decently. And I see some good stuff already. Alright. Everything got wrapped decently, it seems. So, box didn't do well, but that's okay. I hope. So, anyway, first thing is a co sip of coffee. <sighs> Next thing, let's see what we got. Oh, thing in my ear. There we go. Okay. Right, that's that. First up, ooh, this is a gem. This is fun. First up, Optimus Prime. Uh, and, I, and I did see a lot of these, a bunch of these were missing a part here and there and that sort of stuff. But, uh, so that's okay. And that's part of the game. It's an Optimus Prime. Looks like he's missing an arm. I wonder if that's not replaceable. I wonder. Maybe, maybe not. We will see. Optimus Prime. Missing an arm. But... Has all the wheels, which is a good, which is a good sign. So, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, these popper. I, I, I've never. I don't have as much as I love Transformers. Um, I don't have a ton. Those are screwed. This may be able to come apart if I can find an arm. I don't know. I don't know how much in the way arms are out there. But this. This, if I can, uh, and there's probably tutorials on stuff out there on it. If I can find an, uh, a right arm for this bad boy, uh, that's a, that, that would be a really good find. So, we'll see what else we got in here. And, uh, I'm going to be tempted to keep this. At least, bad boy is at least going to go on display back there. Got the trailer. Uh, doesn't have a roller in it, missing, oh, no roller, no, okay. Doesn't have a roller in it, it's missing the thing, but uh, we have very cool, and something I, like, if you're raised in America, you almost didn't realize what this thing could do, what the, this thing could count for, but this is a repair station for Optimus and the Autobots. 
Where are we gonna move? We're gonna move to Ewok Village. We're gonna put Optimus for now. We're gonna put him right there. That's fine. Good stuff. Um, I'm not gonna say what I paid for it, but if that was complete and in good shape, it would be worth the whole purchase. Uh, if since it's not, maybe about half, but I may try to figure something out to make it worthwhile. Next up, what we got. Huh. Loved this one as a kid. Missing a bunch of parts. This is a shell, so I got a bunch of uh, shells, uh, parts and pieces that I gotta get rid of and deal with. But this is an old uh, G.I. Joe Havoc shell, and I don't see any broken clips though. So that's a good sign. I don't know if it's worth going and finding all the rest of the parts. It's one of those, maybe if you had extra bits, that like I had two or three and you can put them together. But uh, this is like the most impractical military vehicle ever conceived. But man, I love the thing. Ah, uh, because it was big and you could throw a lot of guys on it. And that was always fun. And it was just unique. So, there we go. Next. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Another vehicle shell. It pretty, looks in pretty good shape, too. Nothing, no tabs broken. I may actually have a couple parts for this. This is another one. May just need to check through the parts. I didn't have this one as a kid, but man, it's cool. Uh, this is the X30. This is the second G.I. Joe good guys jet after the Sky Striker. It's not quite as iconic. That forward swept wing design, and it's a good, it's, it was a good size, and that thing is pretty cool. Um, that's another vehicle shell. And some of these I may be able to bring out to the flea market and get a few bucks for on the shelves and stuff to some collectors. But we will see. Next, 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 next. What we got? Oh, that's interesting. This may be able to sell on eBay as a part. Uh, this is the old, that's the old bridge layer. Yeah, bridge part. And that looks like it's in decent shape. And I wonder if that's not... I haven't... I never had one. And I never actually... I've never come across one. Uh, as much as... I've come across some good G.I. Joe hauls here and there. At yard sales and stuff. And none of them ever... I, none of them had ever had a bridge layer on it. So that's the bridge to the bridge layer vehicle. But I don't know that... Uh, since this is intact... I don't... I have to look and see if there's... I don't see any places where a tab was broken, and I don't know that there is, that there's a place for one to be broken. So this may be a pretty good flip for eBay. It is an intact bridge layer bridge. So, uh, quick note about a lot of GI Joe, uh, vintage GI Joe, uh, some of the some Star Wars and some Transformers uh, out there. Uh, a lot of vehicles from the vintage era. I'm gonna take a sip. A lot of vehicles from the vintage era. Um, there's one or two parts to those uh, vehicles that commonly break. The axle on the awe striker. Uh, the the steerage on the ferret. That little, the little piece that goes right here. It, there's a lot of, there's almost like one part on each of those that, uh, the, the, like the chain thing on the Wolverine, the tow chain on the uh, Wolverine missile launcher. There's one part that tends to break on this. What's good is uh, modern 3D printing really helps to alleviate that. Uh, but the trouble now you're running into is people printing parts and not telling people that they're not vintage. Uh, and so, but 
you can repair your stuff now. You don't have to surf around and hope you find one that isn't broken. Uh, so that's a good, good and bad there. Uh, oh, next up. Ooh, I know what this is. No, I don't. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, this is a fine. And even in almost any condition, this sucker is worth a little bit because this is a rare one. This is the Blue Thunder helicopter. It's missing a rotor, and yet that affects value a little bit. It's missing a few parts, but that's the Blue Thunder helicopter. Uh, I never had one of these. I didn't know that these things existed till ten years ago, because uh, I never saw them and never realized. And I, I don't know, even know if the movie was really made for kids. Uh, but that's the Blue Thunder helicopter, and real neat design. Uh, it actually seems like it's a pretty solid piece. So I wonder if there's not a, no, that rotor part's maybe broken, but still, that's a, uh, so this may be a good one for a customizer to do something with. There's a couple pit bits here and there, but if you ain't got it, that is, that's a fun bit, fun piece right there. So, Ha! Got the balance. All right. Next up. Let's see this is. Ah! That is the hovercraft to the Havoc. Missing two of its guns, but nothing broken. I know, I had this thing. Uh, little recon hovercraft. Again, the vehicle, the, the concept is dumb, but man, they were fun to play with. Where are you? Where are you? Ooh, I remember this one in the picture. I had this one as a kid, and this one looks to be in decent shape. This, oh, you know how to turn the thing. This is, dum -da -da -da. oh yeah, this is good shape. I have to transform and see if the arms are there, but this is Hound from Transformers. All four wheels, all four tires, which is a really good sign. And we're gonna see if Ryan remembers how to transform the guy. Let's see if he got it. His head. Oh, this is com okay. He's not complete. He didn't have. There's a handful of parts that came with him. I'm not going to fight his head and arm and the arms are or and the arms are there. I'm not going to completely transform him uh, right now, but yes, that's cool. Okay. Uh, that again, this is like this guy like this. It's worth probably about half of what I paid give or take on that sucker. And it's gonna be hard to power part with that one. I had that one with that kid, and that one's in really good shape. Next up, another transformer. Ooh, this is not Blitzwing. This is the other one. Ah, uh, and now this is a transformer triple changer. And I have no idea how this one transformed. Didn't have this one. This is Blitzwing. Okay, so. That guy right there. Mm. So, this he may be he may be complete too without the weapon. So that may be a good one. I got I'm not familiar with this one, and I never, this is the first time I ever had one of these. So, that's a fun one. That's fun. Next. Next, next, next. As we're going, if you like the content, like, comment, subscribe. As we keep moving on. This is one of the... 
Oh, that's a throttle bot. Uh, okay. I thought it was something else. But that is... Uh, I don't know who this guy is. But this is... It's got a pullback and go feature on it. So, here we go. There. I think I know what this one is. Okay, it's two parts, but uh, it's the missile thing to the Night Raven. And parts to Dreadnought Thunder Machine. If that had a canopy, I'd be tempted to give that to my son. He loved the thing. I've got a, I've got a complete one that's mine. Uh, and it's, this is missing a few parts. Missing the two guns. Missing the canopy uh, and the antenna. Uh, but that's okay. But that's... Dragon Knight Thunder Machine, this is one of the cool, uh, cool cars. I always thought it was neat, too. All right. All right. That, oh, different stuff, parts here or there. All right. This is a good shape. It's missing the uh, engine covers, but the Devil Ray, I think, is what that one is. That's a fun one. Uh, stun. That's a that's a part to a cover stun. That's one of the tracks to havoc. Another part to the cover stun that goes. This is the gun part on the seating gun parts. Actually, it's like that. Yet another cool but impractical vehicle that they came up with. For G.I. Joe. Uh, and the night boat. So. That, that Cobra night landing boat thing. I've got another one of these. Uh, somewhere. I didn't have this one as a kid either. But this one has a nice assortment of parts to it. It is the G.I. Joe helicopter. I forgot the name on it. But it's got. Uh, that's unfortunate. I'm going to have to clean that up. Somebody tried to glue or tape in the this thing. Yeah, this thing doesn't stay in well. Naturally, it looks like somebody tried to glue it in and all that came out. That's going to clean out pretty good. Uh, there, there. This is a sturdy piece, actually. Uh, well, here the rotor, actually, the, the rotor will do it. If you got I guess you got to get it in the right place, but locked in or something. Anyway. So we'll clean that up. Again, handful of shell pieces. Uh, some of this may go okay at the flea market and I'm, I'm going to put some of this on eBay and see how it goes. Ooh, this part may sell on the, may go on eBay though. Uh, tactical battle platform gun. So... Nice and tight. I actually got a complete one of the, this this set. I'm at some of the tons of playing displaying behind me, getting some more shelving back here and using it for nice background display. Oh, here's a Cobra Stun. That. Cobra Stun. This part goes on to. Let's see if we can make it go right quick. One of the interesting things about modern GI I've, I've, I've got a couple things, um, but the modern manufacturing methods make this stuff a whole lot sturdier and 
which is so you don't always have the problems you used to. There you go. Gerber Stein. Uh, missing the rear hubcaps. That's all right. And missing, there's a little red gun that goes on right here. But, uh, and there's an antenna and some engine covers that are missing. But that's still pretty cool. Alright. Oh! Bridge layer! There's a bridge layer. Uh, there is a... Like a piece, a hinge piece that goes here that attaches to the bridges so that's missing but bridge layer shell eh, the wheel part is off there but other than that we are it's okay All right. and a good night don't know this one's name, but it's a go-by. It's a go-by. For all, this is for all of us who were disappointed when we didn't get it, when somebody bought us Transformer, but it's not a Transformer. It was a GoBot. Or worse, when it wasn't even a GoBot. It was one of the, one of those other versions. I didn't even have the GoBot name on it. Ah, this is one my brother had. I actually have the gun to this. This is an oversized GoBot. And that's broke. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so. Ah, uh, that's kind of sad. Anyway. Legs just fell off right there. Uh, but this is an oversized GoBot. So, and man, that's kind of it's got all, all four tires got good stickers. That's actually, you know, if it wasn't for the rear tire, the rear legs broke. That would actually be a pretty good piece. Let's see. All right. Ah, this is in pretty good shape too. Ah, uh, missing a leg, but the Cobra anti-aircraft gun system. This one almost makes sense. This is a, a, a little more... The more you go in the, into the G.I. Joe stuff, this is one of the earlier vehicles, so the more you get into the G.I. Joe things, the, the little more practical... The older stuff this is a little more practical than the, the newer things. But uh, and it is missing one of the... It's, is it broke off? or Okay, no, the peg's just missing, so there's a... But... Uh, I'm going to call this, you can tow this behind a couple of the cars uh, in the jet. So, that's cool there. Alright. <laughs> Got a couple of mates for back here. There we go. Star Wars. And... Oh, this one has the side. No, we're good. Okay. Add ST. And it's got the clips. So. They actually completely redo, reuse this one for like the 1990s one too. Uh, it's missing the, unless it's in here. It's missing the the head the hood for it, but at SD, and I got one back. If you I got one back there too. So put that right there for now. And I've got another. I got one of these back here too. Is the this is just this is just for parts. It is a spear bike. Now I've got a have one back here somewhere. No, that got swiped. That got stolen. Somebody broke in my office one time and stole. Yes, I'm bitter. All right. Next, next, next is what we got. Ooh, that's good shape too. Night Raven drone jet. Missing the 
think they were going to part there, but that's fun. A couple things left here. Little two front orange guns to the havoc. And what we got? What we got? Ha! The boat to one of the mask. This goes into like the mask jeep. The boat to the mask jeep. Another anti-aircraft. G.I. Joe, this is one of the original 82, 83 things. Just missing parts, nothing broken on that. Let's see. Another Havoc tread. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. This may be useful. Another Optimus with the arm. So, we'll see if and this one's missing, yeah, I knew that, I thought, that's what I thought, this one's missing a tire. So, I might take this arm, see if I look up and see if it's possible, take this arm, put it on that Optimus, have me a, want a full complete robot, then just sell this one for, the rest of this one for parts. We will see. Two Optimus for repair. G.I. Joe. Look out, thingy. That, I gotta get me some of this stuff. In that corner. And finally, one more bag. Ooh. Something. Nothing excited, actually. On Striker. Uh, and like I said, front axles broke. So, uh, for parts, uh, it does have that this there are a couple of good but like this camera uh is often broken off it's got the antenna even though it's a little wonky uh it's still pretty good as it has, has a few good parts actually that make it maybe worth flipping so and that's it um that box is empty and we came off pretty good i think uh i think i spent 100 bucks on that ship maybe a little bit more shipped uh the optimus primes and the hound are the gems of the bunch uh maybe the ast i don't know how much that goes for that's probably that's a, that's a good one too uh i'm interested to see how that blue thunder does uh because of the broken rotor uh rotor piece it still it still may sell as is for a little bit um so and a few vehicle shells. Um, I think I'll do what uh, some a handful of this stuff. I'm, a, I'm on a couple of Facebook groups. I think I could. Uh, I may be able to move some of the shells. And actually, I have a box. I, I was just looking for something, and I have a box of bits and pieces for GI Joe stuff that I think are worthwhile to sell. So uh, overall, pretty decent, pretty decent haul there. Sold a couple things, and. Uh, so it's something I think I gotta be try maybe do a little bit better sourcing wise on uh, Facebook Marketplace and some of the niche groups. I mean that's what this popped up, and the guys like somebody made me an offer. I was the only person who did, uh, so I wasn't sure why, unless it unless the group it was in the middle of like he was just trying to sell like the exact wrong time in the middle of December. Uh, but it's way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you trip over something good, and I think this is a this is a, a good haul. It's fun to to run through and see. So, actually, recording this session. So there we go. Uh, anyway, everybody else out there, let's have a good year sourcing and not buying stupid stuff. Maybe. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. If you saw something you like, you got a good memory of, you want. Or something along those lines, let me know. Uh, let's have it going out there.